Howdy, howdy, everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another Friday magic video. So today we're going to do something very astonishing. We're going to try to, not only are we going to try to reach out into the future and grab a moment, okay, and bring that moment to our present. You'll see what I mean. But then we're going to take it a step forward, further and we're going to alter the timeline. And what do we need in order to do this? You guessed it. A deck of cards. Here we have this, as you can see. Pretty standard deck of cards. Now, for this portion, like I said, we have to reach into the future, and I have to make some predictions based on those sensations that I'm getting from the future. So I just need to pick out a couple of cards. I like that one, maybe. I'll pick out a few cards, and then I'll decide which ones I think, because... There are many pathways to the future, and it's hard to tell which one is the right one. Let's see there. Hmm. Maybe that one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so what we've got here. What, uh... Yeah, pick... Got to pick these ones. So, so what ends up happening is some of the futures are fairly similar. So it's hard to know which ones. But I think we're going to go with these ones right over there. Okay. Now we shall attempt, as we come into the moment that I foreseen, foresaw, I made a prediction of this very moment as we create this going forward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deal out cards and I'm going to stop. And I can deal out any number of cards that I want. I can do one, two, one, three. I could even put a whole pile down if I want. Whenever I want to stop, I can stop. Now all I have to do is put a placeholder right there. And now I just do the same thing again with my other prediction. All I'm doing is just waiting for the moment. When the moment feels right, the moment that I foresaw in my mind's eye, I can stop one more. And then I can put my second place marker, my second prediction of the future. Now we shall cut the deck a handful of times. Beautiful. So now we've arrived at the very moment that I, I foresaw. As we spread through the cards, we see here is my first prediction. And this is the moment that I stopped. This is my second one. And this is the moment. Now let's see if we could recreate the moment as we predicted. We have a six of diamonds on one hand and a ten of spades on the other. And we have a six of hearts and a ten of clubs. We did it. We did it. We successfully saw into the future and we found the right predictions very good very good but as i said what if we take it a step further and now we branch out into the multiverse now we're going to see those other variations of what we what we just created and so let's take a look to see what that looks like so we have the ten of clubs and the six of hearts which are those are the moments right those are the actual moments back 
into the timeline. We are going to take the, the moment that we've seen, the predictions that we created, and we're going to funnel them in such a way, but they have to mirror what we saw before. So you, if you see the 10 on the bottom, you put the 10 on the top. If you see the 6 on the top, you put the 6 at the bottom. Okay? Because you want to make sure that the timeline goes back to the way that it was originally. And if you put them back in the same way, then they're not going to be mirrored. They're going to go back backwards. Okay. So now all we do... We snap our fingers. And let's check to make sure that everything has returned in such a way where we have... The Six of Hearts is now on the bottom and as you can see we have the ten of clubs on the top and in the center we have you guessed it our moment has been placed back into the timeline it seems to have been fairly successful But we also said that we were going to take it a step further. So let's see what happens when we do that. Ooh. Did you see that? Did you see that? Nothing here. No 10, no 6 there. No 10, no 6 there. But if you look carefully into the center... Everything has been placed back as it was supposed to be, as you can see right here. Let's get a little bit closer and let's bring the camera down for you. Obviously, we're using our phone, but take a look at that. But remember what they said in Avengers. Ah, oh, those cards are on the way as soon as I go get them. <laughs> little joke for you. This trick would be great with that deck. But we have one card in between them. Before we had two cards to represent one moment. But now, as your future, your past becomes your new future, you see that we have combined the moment into one. And there you have it. That is the full moment we reached into the future and we messed with time i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below what i could do differently let me know what i could do better let me know what you like about all of that a fairly i i worked i worked um Let's, let's talk about it a little bit, because this is, as I've said before, if I put something together, I will teach you, okay? But I'm not going to teach it in this video, and I'm guessing that for most of you that are watching, you could probably see what I did, and that's fine. But if you want to know how I came to the conclusions that I did, let me know, and we'll talk about that in a different video. But... What I want to talk about for this is the fact that, yes, I did map this out. So let's talk a little bit about if we're creating a trick. Now, I do have a video that I watched thanks to Scotty P. He sent me over. It was Alex Pandrea and a couple of his friends a couple of years ago. They created this whole gimmick thing and this whole trick thing, and it's fantastic. So I recommend checking it out, checking out Alex Pandrea, excuse me. But for this particular trick, yes. I mean, there was... There, I broke it down in such a way, and I, and I tried to go... Almost like in real time, I tried to go frame by frame to fix anything that would be out of place, and I tried to map it out in such a way that made sense. The patter is all made up on the spot. I, I'm not... Like, I might do scripts later on, but for the way that I feel about it is... 
I just feel out the comedy and then I might use lines that feel right. And so as I'm doing this, if I do it over and over and over again, if I, if I find something that feels right, I will then use that. But I'm not performing yet. But as far as that routine went, yeah, if you like it, if you want me to basically do a breakdown to show you every step of the way of the process, I will. I will break it down for you, and then I will give a shout out to every single person that I learned the moves for to do that trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and remember, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one.